Oh my goodness, it's actually happening. We're back and ready for 2022. <laughs> Welcome back to HD Tech Logic, and welcome to HD Tech Logic in 2022. Now, this is a three part series. It's episode one, two, and three, and it's all about Python. The complete beginner's tutorial. This will literally just get you started off understanding some of the basic, basic commands of Python. It's not going anything fancy today, just the literal basics for a beginner. So, let's get started. So, what you're going to want to start off by doing is going to python.org and on there you will be able to download Python for the operating system that you use. So as you can see this is python.org and what I can do is I can go to downloads and in this case it's recognized I'm using Windows but if you don't use Windows you can choose from either this list or go to all releases. In this case I'm using it for Windows so I'm going to click this which downloads the latest version. Now, it's downloaded, so what we're going to do is we're going to run the executable. And now we get the options on installation. Now, you can install the launcher for all users, or you cannot if you want to, or if you don't. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it how it is, and I'm going to install now. Now, it'll ask me, do I want it to make changes to the device? In this case, I'm happy for it too. Now, as you can see, the installation has worked. We can now safely close this installer. And if we look at our files, we will see that it is installed Python, Python IDLE, the information docs. Right, so now that we've properly installed the software, let's get into using it. So what you're going to want to do is open the IDLE or IDLE program first. This should have just been installed on your computer along with the Python install. Right, so now that you've opened the software, it should look something like this. Now, a couple of people have told me already after installing this as well that the text size is too small and they want the white background to go darker for their eyes. And that's completely fine, you can do that with Python. All you've got to do is go to Options, Configure Idle. You can up the text size to the amount that you want. In my case, I'll do it to 22. If you go to Highlights, you can change it to ideally dark. And that's how you customize it to technically switch it to a dark theme and easier to use. You decide, though. Now, you will see this window. And if you've heard of the print commands and everything, I would not suggest that you do anything yet because you are in the shell. And that's not where you want to start writing your code. On your keyboard, either do Control N or go to File, New File, and then this should appear with no credits at the top. Now, let's understand the first basic command in Python. That is a print command. Now, what's a print command about? Well, the print command literally just displays text on your screen that you've said. So, for instance, if I said print hello there then after I've saved it it will display that text on the screen now a quick note to beginners the print command does not connect to your paper printer what it does is it shows the text that you've entered on the screen so you could say Bonjour. It would also print that out as well. Now, say that you want multiple print commands as well. All you've got to do is go to print the same code on the same line, and then you can write something different. 
Now, if, as long as you save it, it will print both of them. And that's how you do print commands. The very basic founding steps of Python. Ooh.